In 1 Samuel 10, we arrive at a very significant point in the history of God's people. It's the establishment of the monarchy. Finally, for Israel, they get what they desire, what they've wanted. They wanted a king just like every other people group. But as you read this chapter today, you'll find that wasn't God's best. That wasn't actually God's heart or his plan for his people. You read in 1 Samuel chapter 10, starting in verse 18, that the Lord said this, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has declared. I brought you from Egypt and rescued you from the Egyptians and from all of the nations that were oppressing you. But though I've rescued you from your misery and distress, you have rejected your God today and have said, No, we want a king instead. So now, therefore, present yourselves before the Lord's by tribes and clans. You see, in this chapter today, we're given great insight into how God raises up and confirms through three different signs that God has chosen Saul to be the king over the nation of Israel. But that wasn't his heart. That wasn't his first. That wasn't his best. That wasn't his choice for his people. He wanted to be their God. He wanted those people, the Jewish people, to be separate, to be different from every other people group and not have a a physical king rule over them, but to have God not only as the king of their hearts, but as the king of their country. But as they vied for and desired a king, he said, you know, I'll give you what you want. And for those of you that know the history of the people of Israel, the story of Saul, you know it didn't end well. As you read this chapter today, it reminds me of a quote that that missionary, Jim Elliott, shared, that God always gives his best to those who leave the choice with him. See, the best for God's people was him, not King Saul, but to have God rule and reign over them. And it's the same for us today. You know, in every single choice, I would say the best thing you could do today is not look around at what others are doing and seek to emulate what they do, to try and be like others, like the nation of Israel was doing here with raising up a king, but to leave your choices up to God, to follow his word, to follow his ways, And like Jim Elliott says, God truly does give his best to those who leave the choice up to him. So today, give your choices to God and let him choose his best for you today. 